Yeah, there's no typical day at Animal Services. You come in with an agenda and that can quickly change once your doors open to the public. My name is Jane Grantman. I'm the shelter supervisor here. I've been here six years. My job here is to make sure that the animals stay healthy and happy and that we help them find their forever homes. I think my most recent memorable story is the story about a dog named Mr. Jones. He was abandoned um, at a home and he came into Animal Services. Our medical team examined him and found him to be heartworm positive. Um, he's this older dog very neglected. We had a volunteer that took him into fostering and we were able to provide heart room treatment. After he was treated um, and healthy, he was finally adopted into a wonderful home. They just sent a follow-up note saying how happy they are, how what a perfect dog he is for them. And it's stories like that. It's watching a dog come in and um, not the greatest of health or behavior and just watch them blossom in a foster home and then find their forever family. That makes this job worth it. My name is Darlene Castleman. I work here at Alachua County Animal Services. I am one of the investigators for the county. Uh, my daily duties are to uh, investigate animal cruelty, abuse, aggressive and dangerous dog cases within the county. I worked at Animal Services back in 2002, 2003 as a kennel technician. I then moved up to an Animal Services investigator at that point where I was a little bit more involved with the community. And sometimes the situations that we walk into aren't, aren't the best. Sometimes we're able to take that, that situation and make it into a better situation, come up with a better solution and resolution for the owner and for the animal. And that way the animal can stay in the home and, and we can follow up and make sure that everything is going well and they can also reach out to us if they need anything. My name's Brad Fox. Um, I've been working for Alachua County Animal Services for 14 years. I've been working around animals for over 35 years. I am currently an animal services investigator. Well, we go out in the field. We run all the calls that are called in by the public, so we will check on uh, the conditions of animals, make sure the animals are in good well-being, good shape. We make sure the animals have sh proper shelter, they have a good body weight, they're being provided food and water. There's plenty of good memories, happy stories and things. I actually had gotten a call to assist the fire department. Uh, there was a dog and it was about a three, four hundred foot sloped drop sinkhole. Uh, the dog was about halfway down. I had suggested myself going down, um, basically kind of repelled down a little bit um, this sinkhole. Uh, was able to contain the dog uh, safely, uh, pulled the dog up. It was a beautiful, large, yellow lab. Um, dog was very scared. Um, once we got up there, noted that the dog also had a microchip. With that, I was able to locate the owner who had actually been missing their dog for over five days. Um, they were very tearful and very excited and happy that you know, we were able to reunite them with their dog. 